As you're curating your closet and building your personal style, you will undoubtedly come across a couple things that you're maybe a little bit on the fence about. Maybe you haven't worn them in a while, but they have sentimental value, or maybe you used to love them, but in the last couple months you haven't really been wearing them. And you'll be faced with the decision of, do I keep it or do I get rid of it? And I think that that can be a struggle for a lot of people, myself included. And I do think that it's really important to understand those pieces and then put them in their context as it relates to your overall personal style and then make a choice based on that. So that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. I have gone into my own closet and pulled out some things that I haven't worn in a while, but I will never be getting rid of. They are things that are still a cornerstone to my style, things that I'm really happy to have in my world wardrobe. Some of them are a little bit sentimental and I'm going to style them in different ways to remind myself that they are still valid and it's okay if they hang out unworn for a little bit longer in my closet. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanted to style was my vintage yellow cardigan. This actually belonged to my grandma, so as you can imagine, it's very sentimental. It's something that I don't wear that often because it is so special, but I will never get rid of it. So this first look, I paired the sweater all the way buttoned up as if it were just a regular basic crew neck sweater and tucked it into my straight leg black jeans that is a really nice silhouette to balance the top. And then I paired it with my new ankle boots. I've had these for a couple months now. Obviously, I haven't been wearing them because it's hot here, but I picked them up in a sale after they were on my wish list for a bit. I like them because they have a taller shaft, so they fill a lot of the ankle gap that I have in a lot of my pants because you know how much I love cropped pants, and I like showing off my ankle, but sometimes it gets a little cold. So these, with the taller shaft and the taller heel, fill a really nice gap in my wardrobe that I'm very happy with. And then to finish it, I threw on my vintage silk scarf. I tied it really close so it's almost like a choker. And I love how that looks with a crew neck top. And it just balanced all the colors really well and tied everything back together. I love this outfit. This is very me. So I wanted to style that same sweater another way, but in slightly warmer weather. So what I did was I paired it with my white linen shorts, my vintage cream belt, and then I paired it with my espadrilles because my espadrilles have the same colors as all of these uh, colors in the outfit. And I love this outfit. This is feeling very retro, but still super modern. And I think that's really complementary to the cut of the cardigan because the cardigan is retro. So I think by playing into that subtly, I get a really nice balance that I was really happy with. So the next item that I don't wear that often, but definitely don't want to get rid of because every time I force myself to wear them, I'm happy with them again, is this pair of kind of straight, kind of wide leg white pants. So for this first look, I wanted to style them in a way that was good for colder weather. So I paired them with those same ankle boots from the first outfit, a basic white uh, black long sleeve t-shirt, one of my favorite silk scarves to add some color, and then a beret that reflects one of the colors in the scarf. And I was so happy with this. I think the white of the pants really anchors everything and makes it feel really fresh. It also echoes the color in the scarf. And then the beret just tops it off in a way that feels so me. I love accessories, as you know, and I think that this was a really good outfit and got me really excited for warmer or colder weather. So to balance that desire for colder weather, I wanted to play around with those same pants, but for warmer weather. So for this next outfit, I paired those pants with this really beautiful shirt that I've had for a while. It's a nice uh, cottony kind of gauze material, so it's very breathable and lightweight and has a lot of lace paneling and detail. And I tucked it into the pants and I wanted to break up the all white outfit by kind of echoing the light dark, light dark. And since my hair is basically black, I decided my vintage black belt and then basic block heel black sandals were perfect. So I get the black from my hair, the white from the shirt, the black from the belt, the white from the pants, and then the black from the shoes. This was great. And the light, the lightness of the top really balanced out the heavier material on the pants. So it didn't feel too hot. And this is definitely something I'd be able to wear for a lot of the year here where I live. 
So the last item that is one of my least worn things, but something I will never get rid of, is my pair of black wingtips, or brogues as some of you call them. And I've had this pair of shoes for quite a few years now, and I love them so much. They're such a classic shoe. They give me that almost masculine feel that I love in my clothes. And it's something that I find a little harder to wear now that I live somewhere that's very casual and has very warm weather. So I wanted to play around with ways to wear them so I could reach for them more basically and not reserve them for incredibly cold weather down here. So what I did was I paired them with one of my white t-shirts. This is a slightly shrunken style that I really like to balance out wider pants. And I paired it with my pants that I have at the moment that I'm actually not going to be keeping. I talked about these in my things I regret buying video, but I like them because the silhouette is nice, but the material doesn't really work for my life and they have an elastic band, which doesn't really work for my life. But I do have a pair of wide leg, kind of more, more formal, I guess, silhouette or style pants on my wish list. So I wanted to play around with the style and I really liked it. I thought that it looked really good together. And then of course, because I love accessories, I put on a black hat and I was really happy with this outfit. It feels very fun. It does that color blocking that I'm loving at the moment and feels very comfortable. The pants are super breathable, so it was really nice to pair together. And I was really happy with it. And there you have it. Those are some things from my own wardrobe that I haven't worn in a while, but will never be getting rid of. They're things that I will keep on hand because they're either sentimental or just really beautiful and I really love them, but they maybe don't work for me right this second. So I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope that it gave you some framework for looking at your own wardrobe so you can determine um, these pieces for yourself and not feel this desire to get rid of something just because you haven't worn it. Because I think that can be a good guide but shouldn't be the end-all be-all guide for decluttering your closet. So like I said, I hope that this was helpful. I would love to know any tips that you want to share down below, anything that's worked for you. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.